In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I took my ceiling fan from super bland to a super glam. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lisa and if you like home decor, DIY, organization, and anything home related and so much more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I updated my fan. I did not wanna take it down and I thought I needed to do something. This is in my master bedroom and I really wanted to update the look. And so if you guys wanna see how I did it, go ahead and keep on watching the video. So here's my fan previously, super bland, super basic, um, nothing special about it. So I went ahead and removed the bowl, the white bowl from there, and I purchased this bowl from Amazon. So I want to say that this is an actual light fixture, and it has all the openings and you know the parts to install it as like a flush mount style light fixture, but I'm just going to use the bowl. I also want to mention that I got this idea from Keisha J. I love her channel. I've collabed with her before and she did a very similar project on her lamps. So not her lamp, her fan. And so I just want to say that that's where I got the original idea from. So the first thing I did was to remove the light bulbs and I'm going to be replacing them with these light bulbs that I also got off of Amazon. I will link everything down below as usual. I wanted to make sure I had fresh light bulbs because I didn't want to like have to replace them after having installed this bowl which actually took a long time and hurt my arms so it comes with like washers and bolts and that sort of thing and actually comes with two sets so the first thing I did was to make sure the strings were going through properly and I really like the design of this bowl because it has a lot of openings where you can get everything to come through and then I just went ahead and screwed on the first set of washer and bolt If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It would really help my channel so much and I really so much appreciate it. And next I use this wrench that I just happened to have upstairs. So I decided to use that to tighten up the bolts so that way it would be secure. And then I started working on the second set. So the second set came with this white rubbery style washer and a bolt and then this other cover so I went ahead and screwed those on I am missing a piece and I realized this after the fact I didn't film me putting it on but you will see it in the final result so this final piece here that I'm putting I'm missing a piece because you can still see the metal separation where everything screws on but I did put that back on later once I realized I was missing. So I had these in my DIY arsenal. I had a whole bunch of like jump rings and crystal chandelier um, crystals. And so I thought it would be perfect to update this fan and give it a glam look and really elevate the bowl from just like a basic bowl. So I am doing this with the bowl already on the fan because I want to see how far down I want these crystals to go. I don't want them to be too low or too long. And so I thought it was easier that way to see what I was doing. However, it is harder to put them on the bowl while it's like on the fan on the ceiling. But these jump rings come on like a regular keychain so you just separate the metal ring and then you hook it on and I will show you guys I tried to show you guys what it looked like but unfortunately the picture was still a little bit too bright and you can see right there this is where I hooked it on hopefully you can see something but I went ahead and hooked them all around at different heights based on my taste and this is what the final result looks like I'm so in love with this. 
It was such a simple and easy way to update my fan and get that fandelier look. So if you guys know, fandeliers can be anywhere from like $300 to almost like $1,000 depending on what style. And I also have to get it installed. And I'm like, you know what? Not right now. I can't do this right now. So this was the easiest thing for me to do as a DIY. Super simple, super quick. Well, not super quick. Kind of quick. Quick enough. And I was really happy with the way it turned out. So in love with it. It really elevates the look of everything in my room. The only thing I still have to figure out is the two strings that turn on the, the light and the fan. I'm not really sure how I'm going to update those. I might put some bling wrap around it or something. <laughs> just to get away from that brown weirdness that we've got going on in the middle. So I'm going to be working on that. I just couldn't think of anything. But today, this is all I did. I did put a little bit of bling wrap at the bottom where it's kind of crooked. But um, ultimately, that's what I did. And I'm really happy with it. So if you guys have a fan and you want to update it, I hope this gives you an idea and this inspires you. And that's it. Um, if you like this video again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really helped me so much. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.